If a refreshing dip in the ocean left you with an itchy rash, sea lice could be to blame. They're getting stung and they're talking to lifeguards and saying, you know, what can be done about it, but there's really nothing we can do. Avalon Beach Patrol Lieutenant Ryan Black says since around August 1st, there's been an uptick in complaints from beachgoers about the tiny creatures. That Saturday, we had a huge crowd on 28th Street and almost all of them got out. Um, and they were reporting, you know, singing and that kind of thing. We're still having reports today and yesterday. Experts say although often called sea lice or sea bathers eruption, they're actually the larval form of a very small jellyfish called a thimble jelly. Because they're so small, they tend to especially get under our clothing. And then once that water with those larvae are kind of trapped in there, the stinging cells start to go off. And that's where you start to get that irritation. An irritation that's usually mild, but in some severe cases can lead to big welts that could require medical attention. Sea lice are typically more of a regular issue in places like Florida, where the water is warmer. Dr. Paul Bologna, the director of marine biology and coastal sciences at Montclair State University, says Tropical Storm Isaias is likely a factor in recent complaints about them at the Jersey Shore. If they're coming up along the eastern coast, then it's likely that they were traveling up the Gulf Stream and one of these storms helps bring that water closer to our shores and then it sort of gets entrained into the coastal currents. Experts say irritation from the stings can usually be treated with an antihistamine, over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream or calamine lotion, similar to what you would do for an insect bite. I'm Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.